Hey there guys and gals, it's Dr. John Heyer from Holistic Health and Chiropractic of Frankfurt. Hey, thanks for opening up the video today. Today's not going to be a lot about us or the office or what we do. Actually, today's going to be about something else that's going on in the office. I don't know if you've noticed, if you've been in in the last few weeks, that I've been getting a little shaggy here. I've been getting a lot of length here in my hair. I have to tell you, this is the longest I've ever had my hair, even when I played in rock bands in college. And it's not just because I'm letting it grow out or because I'm trying to look like Face Man from the A-Team in the 80s. Although I do think bringing the feathered look back would be pretty cool because the 80s are coming back. But no, that's not what's going on. Uh, at the end of March, today is March 1st, I believe March 26th, is a very special day. I'm going to be losing all of this. I'm going to shave it off. And it's for a good cause. There's an organization known as St. Baldrick's, which is a organization that raises money to help cancer research for children. And I don't know about you, but I've had a couple family members pass away from cancer. Now, uh, I had an aunt and two uncles. Um, one uncle in particular, in particular, I really adored and enjoyed fishing with and never did get a chance to go on a couple of hunting trips that we always talked about, but you kind of passed away before we had that opportunity. But they were grown-ups. They were adults. They lived their life. They knew what it was like to go through high school and graduation and prom, and they knew what it was like to date and get married and have kids and be a grown-up. They, they had a life, and unfortunately, it's sad they passed away from cancer, but they, they had rich, full lives. When a kid gets diagnosed with cancer, there are no guarantees. They may not have the next birthday. They may not know what it's like to go to high school and learn how to drive go to prom or go to graduation or any of that. And that's uh, an unfortunate unfortunate reality of life. So what I'm asking, what I'm pleading for, what I'm begging from you is to help us raise some money to help donate to this worthy cause. And on the 26th, I'm going to have all my hair shaved. So sorry, Mom and Dad, that's the surprise I was talking about on the phone. I will be bald in about a month here. And I'm hoping to raise $1,000 for this worthy organization. Now, maybe there's 10 of you out there, 10 of you big spenders, that can write a check for $100 and make this easy on me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe you can't do that. Maybe you can just do $5 or $10, and I'd appreciate that and be grateful to you for that as well. If you look over on your right, there should be a link. You click that link, it'll take you to my page on the St. Baldrick's website. You can make your donation there, or you can send it to me, and we can send it in from there. Whatever way you want to do it, uh, it's it's fine. And, and whatever denomination you can do, ten bucks, five bucks, fifty bucks, whatever you can do to help out, I'd appreciate you. I'd appreciate that a great deal. So, look to see me with no hair. I'll kind of be like Telly Sabalas, if any of you know who that is. So I'm looking like Face Man from the A Team right now. I'll be looking like Telly Sabalas in uh, about four weeks, and that should be. Pretty fun and interesting too. I'll save a lot of money on hair conditioner and uh, shampoo because I'm just rinsing and lathering and rinsing and lathering. I'm just using up a bottle every time I shower. So thanks and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.